signs and symptoms of copper deficiency copper is an essential mineral that has many roles in the body it helps maintain a healthy metabolism promotes strong and healthy bones and ensures your nervous system works properly while copper deficiency is rare it seems that fewer people today are getting enough of the mineral in fact up to 25% of people in america and canada may not be meeting the recommended copper intake not consuming enough copper may eventually lead to deficiency which can be dangerous other causes of copper deficiency are celiac disease surgeries affecting the digestive tract and consuming too much zinc as zinc competes with copper to be absorbed here are the signs and symptoms of copper deficiency fatigue and weakness copper deficiency may be one of the many causes of fatigue and weakness copper is essential for absorbing iron from the gut when copper levels are low the body may absorb less iron this can cause iron deficiency anemia a condition in which the body is unable to carry enough oxygen to its tissues a lack of oxygen can make you weaker and feel tired more easily several studies have shown that copper deficiency may cause anemia additionally cells use copper to generate adenosine triphosphate atp the body's main source of energy this means copper deficiency could affect your energy levels which again promotes fatigue and weakness fortunately eating a copper rich diet can help fix anemia caused by copper deficiency frequent sickness people who get sick often may have copper deficiency that's because copper plays an important role in maintaining a healthy immune system when copper levels are low your body may struggle to make immune cells this could drastically reduce your wbc or white blood cells compromising your body's ability to combat infections studies have shown that copper deficiency can dramatically reduce the production of neutrophils which are white blood cells that act as body's first line of defense fortunately eating more copper rich foods can help reverse these effects number 3 weak and brittle bones osteoporosis is a condition characterized by weak and brittle bones it becomes more common with age and has been linked to copper deficiency for example on analysis of different studies it has been found that those with osteoporosis had lower levels of copper than healthy adults copper is involved in processes that create cross links inside your bones these cross links ensure bones are healthy and strong what's more copper encourages the body to make more osteoblasts which are cells that help reshape and strengthen the bone tissue four problems with memory and learning copper deficiency could make it harder to learn and remember that's because copper plays an important role in brain function and development copper is used by enzymes that help supply energy to the brain aid the brain defense system and relay signal to the body conversely copper deficiency has been linked to diseases that stunt brain development or affect the ability to learn and remember such as alzheimer disease interestingly a study found that people with alzheimer had up to 70% less copper in their brain compared to people without disease number 5 difficulty in walking people with copper deficiency may find it harder to walk properly enzymes use copper to maintain optimal health of the spinal cord some enzymes help insulate the spinal cord so signals can be relayed between the brain and the body copper deficiency may cause these enzymes to not work as effectively resulting in less spinal cord insulation this in turn causes signals to not be relayed as efficiently studies have found that copper deficiency may reduce spinal cord insulation by as much as 56% walking is regulated by signals between the brain and the body as these signals are affected copper deficiency may cause loss of coordination and unsteadiness 6 sensitivity to cold people with copper deficiency may feel more sensitive to cooler temperatures copper along with other minerals like zinc helps maintain the optimal thyroid gland function studies have shown that the t3 and t4 levels of thyroid hormones are closely linked to copper levels when blood copper levels are low these thyroid hormones levels fall as a result the thyroid gland may not work as efficiently as needed given that the thyroid gland help regulate your metabolism and heat production low thyroid hormone levels could make you feel colder more easily in fact it is estimated that over 80% of people with low thyroid hormone levels 
feel more sensitive to cold temperature pale skin skin color is greatly determined by the melanin pigment people with lighter skin usually have fewer smaller and lighter melanin pigment than people with darker skin interestingly copper is used by enzymes that produce melanin therefore copper deficiency could affect the production of this pigment causing pale skin premature gray hair hair color is also affected by pigment melanin given that low copper levels can affect melanin formation copper deficiency may cause premature gray hair vision loss vision loss is a serious condition that may occur with long term copper deficiency copper is used by many enzymes that help ensure the nervous system work properly this means that copper deficiency can cause problems with the nervous system including vision loss it seems that vision loss due to copper deficiency is more common among people who have had surgery on their digestive tract such as gastric bypass surgery this is because these surgeries can reduce the body ability to absorb copper while there is some evidence that vision loss caused by copper deficiency is reversible now we will talk about the sources of copper thankfully copper deficiency is rare as many foods contain a good amount of copper in addition you may need a small amount of copper to meet the recommended daily intakes of with, that is 0.0, 0.9 mg per day the following foods are good sources of copper now beef liver one ounce has 458% copper oyster cooked six ounces 133% and lobster cooked one cup which is 145 gram is 141% lamb liver cooked one ounce has 99% now squid dark chocolate oyster raw oyster sesame seed cashew nuts sunflower seeds mushrooms almonds are also having considerable amount of copper in their diet in their foods simply eating some of these foods throughout the week should provide you with enough amount of copper to maintain your healthy blood levels it is also worth noting that you can get some copper by simply drinking tap water as copper is commonly found in the pipes that deliver water to your home that that said the amount of copper found in tap water is very small so that you should eat a variety of copper rich foods also copper deficiency is very rare as many foods provide sufficient amount of the minerals simply consuming a balanced diet should help you meet your daily copper needs thanks for listening and bye bye